I'm Eugene with Diacon. Several times a year the rain gauge needs to, may need to be cleaned. Depends on your environment, whether there's a lot of dust blowing through the air and, and debris. The rain gauge is a very simple operation with minimal tools required. Typically I store the wrench inside of the control weather station control module, but often I just have the uh, screws finger tight, so a wrench isn't required. The top of the rain gauge comes off, and you can see that we have the filter visible through the funnel, and then the bottom of the filter here. There are no tools required to remove the filter. Simply just press on the top, and it pops out the bottom, like so. I'm going to just simply rinse the filter assembly. The siphon funnels are a little more complex. They have a uh, essentially a plumbing mechanism in the bottom. And this can be disassembled for cleaning by undoing the nut and pushing out the brass fittings. The top of the siphon can also be unscrewed, usually by hand. We've got a couple of holes in there and a pass through the center of the shaft. These can be washed out and cleaned once they're separated. For both styles of funnels, the uh, screen simply just snaps over the top of the body. Simply insert the funnel through the bottom and it's back in place. Before we close up the rain gauge, we want to inspect it for any other debris or problems that might arise. You can see this gauge has been in service for several months now, approximately six months. There are no insects. This is one of the great features of the hydrological services gauges is um, I don't see any bugs that get in them like I do with other rain gauges which we've used. We will be inspecting for any debris in the uh, tipping bucket, um, any debris also in the bottom where the discharge is. You can see the screen is clear. There's a little bit of water there from the precipitation last night. We'll also do a little adjustment on the bullseye gauge. Um, it's slightly unlevel, so it's shifted and settled since initial installation. With the screen reinserted into the top of the rain gauge, it can now be reassembled. Simply place it over the screws, tighten the screws, and the rain gauge service is now complete. If you have any questions regarding this product or the features of this rain gauge and others we feature at our website, please give us a call. This video can be found at diacon.com or on the Diacon YouTube channel. <music>